Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I brought my Paragon R here to the to the uh, the car meet. I want to double check and see if this thing is number one tweaked up. I think it is. I think those are custom wheels on it. Armor is good. Oh wait, oh, this is that again. This is annoying brakes. And it goes back out. Engine. Okay, the engine's tweaked. I think I did everything here. Turbo. Yeah, we're turbo. So I just want, what I'm gonna do. Let's look at livery briefly. Spoiler, there is a spoiler on it. Yes, put the small sports wing. Liveries. Clean green. Clean green looks good. Sensa Nova, that's a bit much. Very Battle of Britain. Tis good, tis good. Works racer. Venus Racing. I think I'm running to the same thing like the last time. Like, they're all good. This I might use for my other one because I actually have a matchbox car with you. If I think that dark green would look pretty darn close on that. But that looks pretty good too. Let's see a cup of can I go should we go with the British look, the truly hardcore British? Let's let's do spit and fire for right now. And the reason I say that is because what I'm going... Oh, and lights. We do need lights. No, I don't want to... I want to just make sure that we've got a neon kit on this. I do. All right. Don't know if I'm going to keep that look for the, the, the long term, but it's at least good enough that I could take it racing. If I could ever get out. Exit. Exit the mod shop. Because I want to see, is this a car I want on my other character? Is this something that I could race on the regular? And I know that the GTO is the king. Let's go jobs. Play a job. I don't even care if I get other players in this. Rockstar created, stunt races. Bridge too far. Bridge too far, I know... The GTO owns this, but I, so I want to know how close can I get lap time wise. Host it, might even be a solo. How does this car run? Is this something that could be competitive on a bridge too far? We'll do two laps. I got about a half an hour before I got to go. Lost a job on my own. Thank God you can still do that. I think I got enough enough wheels here. There we are. Let's see. View stats. You can't you can't do the, the we can't check and see what until the end of the race where I rank with all this. I mean I could look it up from another another track, but I don't know that I'm keeping the look on this, but it's still something. It's a big car. So it would do well as far as, you know, if there's bumpy McBumpmeisters, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it has some weight to it. Got handling. I did lift a little bit there. Wasn't quite courageous. I only had to lift a hole. I had to lift a lot there. Okay, that, that's that hard corner though. It's a 
decreasing radius turn. Now this is the point where I think the, the GTO would just take off on it. But I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it also benefits from the bumps. It, it definitely feels a little easier to keep keep a hold on it. I'm going through this effort because I only have one more parking spot on my other character, so I'm gonna have to do some do some uh, some fleet reduction. There's not a lot over there I want to get rid of. Everything's either really good or just sentimental. Sentimentally charged. And get it over the other side. Whoa! It handles nice and it sounds nice. This is not... It's easier to drive this than it is to drive the goat. Just barely made that turn. Mr. Web Live, I did not tell. I wonder if I could I should have changed it to personal best on this and then I would have I forget I keep forgetting you can change that world record to something else. Really trying to cut a good time here. That felt quick through there. But does bog going up these hills? I mean, I think everything mostly does, but... But is it the sort of thing where I would replace the goat? Oh dear, that's going to screw up my, uh, my lap time. I don't even see where I grabbed on there. I must have just... I know I've done that before. We'll just recover from it. We'll see. Yeah, we'll get an idea. It does look good. It's a good looking car. Sometimes that's enough. It looks good. It sounds good. It's the kind of car that I'd like to drive in real life if I had unlimited money for repairs. Cause it's British. It's a Bentley. Bentleys are not known for holding themselves together. It's a long track. I still don't think I'm on pace for, for a best here, but maybe. Yeah, I think that might have been, or, or at least it was exactly got the same lap time both times. Winner! Yeah, it's the winner. I'm alone. But. It feels good. 222. Now, where is the online leaderboard? 214. My best lap in the GTO. Wow, the, G the GTO really does crush. But I mean, 222 is not a bad time in the overall. Let's see, do I have time? Like I said, I, only, I don't have a lot of time here. Let's pick it through H2O. I think that's a good enough time for like a, a bold choices kind of set of races no, nobody's doing this either okay 
Let's just take a one lap spin here. Because again, I don't have a lot of time here before I go. I gotta go pick up my son in a little bit. So, did I say that already? I don't even know. Probably gonna redeco this, if I'm honest. It seems like it has a lot of grip. Like, it's really confident. Oh, yeah, that's a nice brakes. Nice. It's very pleasant to drive. And we'll compare this. This is a slightly different track. This isn't as flat out a track as... Uh, as a bridge too far. And a bridge too far has so many tubes that really work to the GTO's favor because it loves the tubes. Flip this through here. Oh, that wasn't my best. That was, that was my approach angle, not the, uh, the car's fault. They all do that. Every car doesn't like that turn. I guess it doesn't really matter. Is it faster than my best here? It's like, do I like it and do I want to race this? How does it feel? Because, you know, you can, you can look at my win-losses. I'm not that concerned about how many I've won. Sometimes I don't want to go try hard. Sometimes I just want to go and drive a nice car around a track. If I happen to beat some people doing it, It's a grippy son of a gun. Okay, let's we'll look at this. I know I made a mistake, so I could take a couple seconds off of this for what it's supposed to, you know, probably about four seconds off of it if I do the clean. Okay, Mr. Wild Wild to Infinite. That's the. That's saying that's my best time ever. Really? Or is that glitched out? I'm going to do that again. Let me check the time. I got an alarm set for... Yeah, I got, I got about, about 20 minutes. Let's do two laps. Confirm the settings. Continue. Like I'm waiting on something. Let's go. Now let's really try hard this. And I want to just hot lap this and see where I am in the list. It really does take some of these turns very well. It, it cut in a little bit more than I thought it would. I thought it'd slide a little bit more than it did, so it threw me off. It's just good. And it didn't flip out and go crazy. One fifty to beat. That's the goal. Almost screwed that up again. Kinda did, but that was a that's a tough turn no matter what you do. I should have gotten it over a little bit more, or just gone through the water. Really tight turns. Watch it be slower than a 150 when I'm trying harder.
Now it's full brakes all the way down. <laughs> One forty seven, so that's definitely you know, that was a better lap than the first time I took this one. Now I've got a, a rolling start, so let's see if we can do a little better. Yee! Okay, pushed that a little too hard. Almost went swimming. Some of the turns, like you tap it and you just it'll just turn in really well for you. And it just depends. I guess it depends on how you're approaching the turn. This isn't good. It's going around. That that wasn't what was planned, but it might have been quick. I lifted a little bit before on that one so we could get through the turn clean. It's on sale. That's why I'm going through all this. It's on sale. It's like you said, nine hundred thousand. It's five hundred. That, that was sublime going through that one. So I'm, I saw one forty-six. I immediately will turn to a one forty-seven on that one. Okay, online leaderboard. Okay, one... Okay, let's say I did a 141 now. I was registered something in the Italy GTO. I'm going to have to read back. So 146, one... it's still good. It feels good. The GTO again is just so good. Just quit. Quit the voting screen. It wasn't letting me go to free mode. I mean, I shouldn't expect it to be as fast as a goat, but I mean, it is it competitive? I think so. That's within a few, you know, within five seconds. It's certainly good enough for a bold choices kind of thing. Now I'm planning, I'm thinking this weekend I'll do a, a Bold Choices set of, uh, of races. So I think I'm going to get one from my other character. For the for the Black Knight CEO in pajamas. The former CEO in pajamas. So I've, I'm really, I'm getting away from that meme. But while we're here, it needs a better look. I like the look, but it's just... I don't like the front. What miracle did you want me to perform? Livery stuff. That might work. Do we want it to be a straight-up race car, or do we want it to be something that we just race on the weekends? Uh, so it could be something that we could take out on a formal. Abstract flag. And see a cuppa. 
I like the green. Digital Sprunk. And it says nowhere on it there does it say Sprunk, does it? It's, but it's a Sprunky kind of color. Let's do that. As far as respray, I kind of like the blue, but do we want to go... Ooh. Ooh. That does look good. I do like blue, though. I'm open. I'm open to possibilities. Ooh, do yellow. That is a bright car. Do we want more contrast? See, my other one I'm going to do dark green. I'm going to raise, or raising green, rather, with a dark green. Sea green. Gasoline green. Midnight blue. The midnight blue is always a little bit too dark for me. Galaxy blue. This is pretty much what the car was, but with the, more of a pearlescent. Saxon blue. Blue. Mariner blue. Harbor blue. Diamond blue. Do do do. Surf blue. Racing blue. Then you get into ultra blue. Brown. You know, you pick it brown. It looks like it definitely looks like, you know, a corporate car that you stickered up. The purples. The purples will work. I'm not sure I want a purple one. The frost white. Ice white looks nice. Shows off the stickers. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm... I think I'm partial to the blue with this. Original. I picked it out blue originally. My other one's going to be green. Like a British green kind of thing. I missed it. Dark blue. Do we want a pearlescent? That's a surf blue pearlescent. We can make it ultra blue. Give it the ultra blue pearlescent. Secondary color. What is the secondary color? Is anything a secondary color? No, we're not going to... This might be one of those things where there's very little... Alright, let's just leave it as it is there, matching the metallic blue. Trim color. Do yellow. You go a lime green interior to go with the stripes. Roll cage. Cage and carbon. Cage and sport seats. I just put the roll cage in and let the, the seats be cut. You know, well, ooh, yeah, there you go. And performance seats. Roof. Second now, let's let's leave the roof alone. Skirts. Doesn't really change much, does it? No, it's spoiler. We could actually go with a lower GT wing. I like that one because it doesn't stick out. No sun strips, suspension, we're already slammed. Transmission's done. Turbo is in. Wheels. Wheel color. If you do frost white, let's try and get a lime green or something on them.
Reese yellow almost works. Pea green. Pea green. Looks kind of wrong. Green, dark green, olive green, midnight blue. We haven't unlocked lime green. Lime green would be the color. Ten more stunt jumps. Why do you think I've done more stunt jumps here? Bright blue kind of works. Baby blue. Royal blue. I think I might go with the pea green. Pea soup. Tire design. Custom now. We'll leave that off. They are bulletproof. Tire smoke. We'll leave it alone. You want to give it the green smoke? Okay, so we got green smoke. That means we got to go with green lights. Lime green. Exit. And I think this one's ready to run, but now... We've got to... Swap character. Because today's the last day of the sale, probably. I mean, sometimes they, they stretch it. But I know they're going to change... Well, I don't know anything. I mean, I'm assuming that this week, starting with Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow, they're going to set it to uh, Cayo Perico heist bonuses. Now, maybe because it's Thanksgiving, no one will be at work, and it'll be the same week over and again, and I'd have another chance to get a Paragon R, but... I like that car enough. It, it feels good. That could be one I can see myself driving. Yeah, let me look at the, the clock again. We're going to have just enough time to buy this puppy and then uh, be done with this because I'm going to have to roll. I have like, I'm giving myself about a 10 minute buff here. I really should leave about quarter after 11, but it's 5 to 11. I think I'm going to do a video of, you know, at some point. I guess I'll push this, put this in the normal rotation, not the racing rotation. Even though there was racing, it really wasn't about that. Good to see you, boss. So I'm gonna do another video like I did with with uh, Rusty Jack, where I go through all the garages, but not today. At least not right now. It's a good deal. Get it in green. That's the only place I have. That I have no more parking. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to have to do, which is going to almost negate the uh, the benefit of the sale. No, not this. <coughs> the weapon and vehicle workshop. Living quarters. Was it bay one you have to change? Command center to... Empty bay living quarters. 145,000 and then I would go to bay three. Personal vehicle storage. That completely blows away. The, the discount. But it will give me one more parking space. I kind of have to do that anyway, don't I? We're going to do it.
And now... You gonna make some deals? How you doing? I'm doing great. Exit to ground. Now watch this shuffle. There's only one car that can be permanently stored in the back of a truck like this. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Master Stromberg, the spy right. hunter. I'll get back to it then. And while that's being pulled in, you go to services, MOC. Oh, I have to wait till the car. I can't do two deliveries at once. Because you're going to have a car in the back that would roll out. Oh, there's my alarm. 11. Ugh, we're running out of time. There it is. Just like the old spy hunter kind of thing. Do 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 do. Now, ideally, I'd put the uh, the Ruiner 2000 in here, and I could do the whole thing up like his Night Rider. I have the the truck, of course, painted like Optimus Prime from the the Energon series. I forget which one. <laughs> it can't clear. Oh, that's funny. I can't do it. Womp. I can't modify it in here. See, and eventually I'll just use that parking spot. Because the Paragon R is at least British. I think this is living quarters. This means I can actually spawn in. Legs of the trailer. All the way over here, I was like, woo, it just yeets ya. And now, actually what we should be able to do, I really have to do this. Just give you a look at the trailer. Transformers, more than me. Okay. Let's see if we yeet this sucker back. Services. Return to storage. That should yeet. Oh, I'm not looking? Yeah, when well, you're not looking. Or I just happen to miss it. And now... What we can do... No, you know what we're going to do? Here's how we're going to do this. I'm going. We are going to set this to the auto shop, and we'll pick this up again later. On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.